Hi hey y'all, uh, this is uh, Mike here. I've received some requests for me to redo the video for this, uh, reducing the volume of the music. So since today I'm, I'm at home and I'm free to do this, then I'll actually redo the video of this. I've lost the original video, so that I can't actually do any edit on that due to my hard disk crash the other time. So um, I'll redo a new video on how you can assemble as well as change the internals of the uh, UX 301 LA for you to upgrade the SSD, the Wi-Fi card uh, <clears throat> as well as the battery okay so let's get on with it okay let's open this up for now uh, as you'll need the uh, star the star look at it um, the star screwdriver Okay, so once you have done unscrewing, then what you need to do is to put this one more here. Um, open the back cover. Um, you just pry it open. It's pretty easily open up. So once you have opened that up, so you can take a look at the internals of the laptop itself. Okay, so as you can see, the internals they actually do have uh, two. You can actually two put in two. Uh, M.2 SSD here, meaning you can actually upgrade for an, to have another drive here. Uh, it comes with the uh, default for this model comes with 128 gigabyte, so you can actually add additional one, or you can just upgrade this stick itself, right? Then this is the Wi-Fi card where you can actually change, uh, and this is a battery as well. I'll leave the link down below where you guys can get the part for this one. So just in case you want to update, I will upgrade your machine itself. So let's let's proceed on how to open it up. So to open up the uh, to actually change this as well as the Wi-Fi card, it's easier for you to actually remove to actually loosen up this panel so that you can actually do the changes itself. So what you need to do is to peel off the uh, rubber rubber base from here. It's actually stick by a glue. You can actually just use a screwdriver to peel it off easily. Um, okay, let's just take the screwdriver. So what you need to do is just to peel off this, the side and the side you just need to lift it up and it will come off pretty easily you see you can peel off the rubber sides and the rubber base uh, okay so now as you can see there are additional two screws in which you need a phillips screw head so you just need to look for a small phillips screw and just open up these two screws right So once you remove the two screws, uh, this thing will get loosened up. You can't actually take this out, but um, it's loosened up. So uh, you can access the screws within this place here. So as you can see, you can actually go through this hole if you want to and unscrew that. So make sure that you can actually reach it. Once you reach it, you can actually unscrew this. And once this is loose, you can take out the screw. And as you can see, you can actually lift up the uh, SSD. So this is the uh, 128 gig SSD default that comes with the thing itself, uh, the laptop itself. So I put it aside. And of course, um, you can remove the sticker here to access the Wi-Fi card. So here itself, as you can see, um, this one, I don't think they have a screw, but they have a screw here. So you can remove the, the two, the black one is here, the white one is here. So you can just gently remove the connection things here, as you can see, put this aside and there's another screw there where you can access it, and then you can just open it up. And you can actually remove the Wi-Fi card itself, right? So this is the Wi-Fi card. Um, you can actually purchase a, a spare if you want to upgrade this. Um, as I've said, 
and of course finally will be the batteries so for the battery it's pretty straightforward as you can see all the screws in this two both end in the middle and and these two sides right so what you can do is just to remove the you can first remove this this connector here this is the only connector that you need to remove once you remove this connector you can just take out the screws So the middle, the middle screw sometimes you have already unloose, uh, loosen it up, but just that it's not coming out, so you can just lift this up and just make sure you push back the screw. So as you see, the screw is still stuck here, so you just need to push it out. Make sure you have everything ready. So as you can see, now all the uh, stuff that you can actually remove or upgrade, it's already removed. This is the easier way. So this is the SSD, this is the Wi-Fi card, and this is the battery. I'll leave a link down below where you guys can purchase all the parts if you need to do the upgrade for this uh, laptop itself. So once you are done with the upgrade, what you can do is just to put back everything. So let's just do it. Okay, so once the Wi-Fi card is slotted back in properly, then the next thing is to put back the SSD. So you just need to slot in the drive here and uh, of course you make sure that this thing is in so you need to slot in properly from here. Okay let's make sure that it's slot in. Okay once it's in you need to screw it back. Oh, this is the tricky part so normally you can lift this up and screw back this way or you can just peel this off and just do it from here if it's easier. Yeah that's easier anyway. So once you have the screw pull back, okay. Okay, it's all done now. You have put in almost everything back. So, um, so next thing you need to do is to put back the, uh, the screws for this too, which is the um, which is here. So uh, you need to screw it back. You just need to stick back the rubber fit. So if you look at it, rubber fit there's one um, there's one area for the screw, so you just need to stick it back as per normal. If it's not here then it should be here, so it will fit accordingly. So no need to worry too much. Just need to see where the screw head is and just do it accordingly, right? Okay, so once you stick this back in, so the last piece would be the this piece here so align it properly and let's close it up okay it's all done now uh, so you have all the um, screws screw back to the laptop itself and now like I said that that is how you do upgrade to this uh, itself so and the if you guys have any issues upgrading or changing parts for this laptop, you can leave a comment down below. I'll try my best to help. But uh, this this video has been pretty um, pretty straightforward, pretty clear of what, what kind of screws you need to unscrew and what kind of parts you need to buy in order to uh, upgrade this machine itself. So um, that's all I have for today. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment down below. And I do hope that this new video uh, can help you guys with some of the uh, stuff that we are having in terms of the uh, i mean like the old videos weren't weren't very clear in terms of the speech and stuff so hopefully this one helps out in that and um if you guys like the work that i'm doing uh, please do subscribe to my channel and that's all for today i'll see you again soon bye